FeatureCam 2015 R2 streamlines the workflow when allocating specific pecking depths. You can now specify pecking depths on a per tool basis, for example by tool manufacturer or tool size. This means there is no longer the need to update global defaults after feature creation. This enhancement significantly reduces the programming time for drilling operations. Now in this particular example, what we can see is we have numerous pre-programmed hole features of varying diameters. So we have a range of 3.5 mm holes. We then have some countable holes drilled with a 5.5 mm drill. And finally we have some 7 mm holes. I'm going to go ahead and look at the CAN cycle defined within my post processor. So this is a post for a Bridgeport BOSS 9 machine. So I've navigated to the cycle deep hole and what we can see is we have a two step cycle defined in this area. So we can exit out of this and if I go ahead and navigate to my machining attributes what we can see are global settings where the user can specify the different pecs that they wish to use. As we mentioned this current post processor uses a two-step CAN cycle therefore the first two parameters of first PEC and second PEC will be used. And we can verify these values are being used within our features. So if I go ahead and come to my three and a half millimeter drilled holes, navigate to the cycle, we can see the first PEC it's 100% of the tool diameter 3.5 and the second PEC at 50% of the tool diameter. This continues for the other hole features. We can see 100% of the tool diameter and 50% of the tool diameter and finally for the 7mm hole we can see 7 and 3.5 being used. Now if we play through the sequence we can see the various hole features being simulated and machined on a component. If we take a look at the component from a front view, we can see that the 5.5mm drill depth is significantly more than the other holes on our particular component. Subsequently, we may wish to use a smaller pec to ensure swarf material is being removed suitably from within the hole. So we now have a new tab which we can do this within the tool properties. So I've navigated to my 5.5mm drill and what we can see we have a new pecking tab where we can specify pecking per tool. So in this case we can see the values of 0 are being used. This means this particular tool is going to reference the pecking set within the machining attributes. If however we wish to override it for the tool, we can do so. We can say apply and verify this within the cycle. So we can now see the first PEC is set at 75% of the tool diameter and the second PEC at 40% of the tool diameter. If we just play through the entire sequence we can verify this within the NC code. If I navigate to my 5.5mm drill, what we can see is our G83 CAN cycle. And we have our two steps shown like so. So for the first step, if I bring up my calculator, we can see at 75% of tool diameter we have a value of 4.125 and we're adding 3 millimeters as our clearance value to give us the first step and for the second step we used a value of 5.5 times by 0.4 to give us our value of 40% 2.2 millimeters as shown like so.